Hello guys, Dreams Play here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own Feed the Beast server on your Mac. Uh, now, this has been a long time coming, I know loads of you have been asking me to do this, so I'm finally going to do it. Now, I should say there is a bug on this um, installation, and I'll link a forum post um, to in the video so you can kind of um, get that bug out of the way, but it's basically um, terminal on your Mac. Now, I don't know terminal coding, I just know Java coding. So I'm going to go through it, and um, when I get to the terminal coding, I'm just going to link you straight to the page, so you can um, go and do that yourself. But right now, let's just jump into the tutorial. So first of all, what you want to do, as normal, you want to open up your uh, Feed the Beast launcher. And uh, by the way, my friend actually taught me how to do this, because he actually has a Minecraft um, server himself, and he made a um, Feed the Beast server um, on his Windows computer, and he just basically transferred all the information onto me. So what you want to do, you want to come over here um, where it says fill settings, you want to click on that, change this to server and this to feed the beast and apply filter. When that's done, you want to go ahead and grab the server version right there and it will open up your web browser. And then it will download a file for you right here that will give you um, all the information that you need, um, all the files that you need for the actual server, so I'm going to wait for that download and then I'm going to come back to you in a minute. Okay, so now that you actually got the download, you want to drag it to your desktop as usual, like that, and then you want to open this zip. Um, but before you open it, you need to make a no folder um, called whatever you want your um, server to be, so I'm just going to do the FTB server now, and then enter. What you want to do, you open that folder that you just made, um, and then you take the zip folder, you drag it into the folder. You open this with um, the unarchive, you don't have that, open it with the um, archive utility. And then what you want to do, you want to um, get all these files they have in this folder. You want to copy those, just command C to copy and command V to um, paste it. And you want to close that folder, you don't need it anymore. Okay, so um, now what you want to do, you want to um, pick what kind of um, gigabyte you want. Now I've got four gigabytes on my MacBook Pro, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick on um, one gigabyte. So what you want to do, you want to delete all of these um, on, but don't select the one gigabyte. So you want to delete all those. Okay, and then what you want to do, you want to run this. So you open this with terminal. And then this will start the command, hopefully. And there you go. And you can see it's unable to process the jar file. Basically what that means is that it can't actually find the um, Feed the Beast jar file even though it's actually in the folder as you can see here. So this is where the link comes in. Um, the link will be in the description. Um, basically there's some coding that you need to put into Terminal which will find the um, jar in your folder and then you can make your server. And then basically you go over here and you uh, make your server and you um, log in and you launch FTB just as usual. So right now I'm going to um, link you to the web page and then this will be the end of the video so let me um, go into Chrome. Okay guys so this is the uh, Feed the Beast server um, forum right here and this is where the actual um, terminal code is um, linked so you want to scroll down here and click on this thread right here um, and you'll see the actual bug so this is the code that you need to put in and then this is the code that you um, this puts the um, jar into directory I think I don't even understand what it says but basically, if any of you know how to do this, uh, please leave a comment down below and I'll do another video um, explaining how to do this coding. So, um, thank you very much for watching and peace out.